Thanksgiving. One Omaha man says he's thankful for one thing many people take for granted, the clothes on his back. Today he's working to pay it forward. Reporter Megan Hahn joins us with the details. Megan. James Chol is one of the so-called lost boys of Sudan. He grew up in a refugee camp without luxuries like new clothing. This Thanksgiving, James Chol and his family are gathering around a different sort of table, trading a turkey for mounds of clothing donations. We feel really good like to do this during a Thanksgiving day because this is part of being thankful and also remembering the life that we went through. Chol's been collecting shirts, pants and more for the better part of two years to clothe refugees in Kenya. They mean a lot. Uh, because we believe the beauty of human being is in cloth and uh, it makes people feel positive. This project has special meaning to Chol. He grew up in a refugee camp after fleeing war-torn Sudan. He cared for 12 other children in the camp saying they went without necessities like clothing and shoes. We were all naked, we don't have clothes on. That was a part of life in the, in the camp. That's where he later met his wife before moving to the U.S. Chol later founded the charity Clothing World Needy People, and the donations have been pouring in ever since. I think a lot of people appreciate it because it is a life that I went through. And when I came to U.S., I should be thankful to the government of uh, America and the people of America for welcoming me. And also showing that uh, being a good Samaritan is, is good because we have been uh, helped like that before. Next week, Chol is traveling to Kenya to drop off his donations at the very camps where he grew up. He says that giving back to his homeland is the greatest gift of all. It is something wonderful that you share with the rest of the world, too. The organization is still in need of clothing donations and funding to help with shipping costs. Find out how you can help by visiting our website, kmtv.com. Reporting in the studio, Megan Hahn, KMTV Action 3 News.